Hello. Hi. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Hello. I don't know what to talk about, but I just left a voice recorder on. I just left a voice recorder on, and uh, I'm trying to think of what to talk about. I was making like a joke interview. It wasn't an interview, but I was just like, I was asking myself questions just to like see what there is to talk about. But I, uh, I can't think of anything to talk about. That's why. It's because I, I, I. I I questioned something, I said something like, I said something about a psychedelic drug, because like I, I remembered, uh, I remembered as a teenager, I, I've had some, uh, psychedelic trips in the past that, uh, I've had some psychedelic trips in the past that I, uh, I can remember, so, what is a question? There's a question to talk about. Is a uh, a question. Question. I, I've always been a big fan of lucid dreaming, so I was like off talking about lucid dreaming stuff. Like it didn't, it didn't have to be a lucid dream, but uh, but sort of the uh, the category out of body experiences and stuff. I'm not like a big into it, but uh, as a as a real life phenomena, I, I can I can continue talking about it or whatever because I've had like a handful of experiences lucid dreaming. I have a dream journal and I can remember some dreams, but I uh, but yeah. I was talking about out of body experiences and lucid dream and how people differ them. I don't think they're very different because like if you've ever had a lucid dream then you might as well be calling it a uh, an out of body experience. Out of body journeys. Journeys out of the body to like another spiritual dimension. Which is uh yeah. So what I like about lucid dream is the idea that like wherever you dream to, any sort of spiritual dimension that you dream to, it's 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 taking place in, in like a, another spiritual dimension, right? So what I like about the idea is that there's like the vast infinite, the cosmic joke of like everything, all of like imagination out there. All of, like the world out there to be explored within lucid dreaming is what I like about it. Is the vast greatness of of like the infinite possibility of like what could, what could be out there to be dreaming about or wherever you're dreaming about. I've always, like, had lucid nightmares. I've always had lucid nightmares. Personally. I remember having lucid nightmares. They'd be, like, super scary. I remember, like, I remember lucid dreaming. I remember lucid dreaming, and, and I would, uh... I would, uh... I'd be stuck in a nightmare. And it'd give you like the night terror, the terrifying sense of being in a nightmare. And the only thing I can I can gain, I'd be able to control my dream body, but I'd be stuck in the nightmare. I remember those. Would be the lower astral plane. Would be like the negative, the en negative entities bound. Was I was I asking myself a question? I don't know. I was like doing a joke interview. And I was saying like I was like making an interview. I wasn't making an interview, but just like to ask questions out loudly. 
it just set me off into into uh into uh talking about something, yeah. So yeah. I remember as a kid, I used to smoke a lot of weed as a kid. I used to smoke a lot of weed as a kid. And, uh, I, I'd be like a teenager. I'd be like the classic pothead stoner kid or whatever. I remember I used to smoke a lot of weed as a kid. And, uh, it'd be, it'd be really trippy some of the time when, when, when I'd smoke bulls or something alone. I'd smoke weed alone by myself in my house. I, I would, uh, I go in this strange headspace for a while, for like a couple hours, I remember. <sighs> I listen to Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi reminds me of uh, Astral Projection for some reason. A lot of his weird music has that vibe or something. I remember my whole life as a kid. I'd be listening to Kid Cudi from time to time. He has that weird, like, he has that weird vibe or something. I don't know. Like he talks about in a song or something. That's a stupid question. I don't have a book on me or anything. I don't have a book on me or anything, so I can't, like, go through or read out of it or some like a journal or whatever things I like to do I have no fucking idea what to talk about I'm so spaced out because I didn't get any sleep so I'm just like zoned off into the whatever. I don't know. Man. I remember foods for dreaming. I remember eating s certain foods before bed, and like they would always cause like a dream. It would always cause like a vivid dreaming or something. The foods before bed would be like cheese. If you eat cheese, eggs, or milk, whatever they have in them, it causes a vivid dreaming. I don't know, like bananas or some. I remember when I was a kid, I had like a bunch of lucid dreams and, and one nap. I took a nap one day and I had like seven lucid dreams in a row. And like I, uh... I remember that day. I was like a, a 15 year old kid and I was lying in my bed in the middle of the day and I took a nap. I took a nap in the middle of the day and I ended up having like seven lucid dreams in a row. They were like out of body experiences because I kept waking up in my bed. I kept waking up in my bed over and over again, like six or seven times in a row, I remember that. And I took like melatonin. I took melatonin before before I took that nap, I remember. I remember in a dream, if you ever experienced being in two locations at once, that, that, that's happened to me before. I remember I was, I was at my house in the dream, but I was at school, and like school would be like entirely like five minutes away from my house in this dream. And I was considering time as like being something into, to being looked into. So time, I'd be like looking through time or whatever as a thing. So I question how are you in two locations at once in the dream? As I as I question, 
I don't know. I question, like, wh- how how are you in two lo- locations at once in the dream? And, uh, yeah. The time. The time is said to be the fourth dimension, right? However, however people say it, time is said to be the fourth dimension. And I was making a joke about, like, time. What exactly is time, and does it exist? Is, is it a theory? I don't know. Time. I thought of time because, like... Because if you think about it, whenever you have a, whenever you, whenever you have a memory, or you visualize something, the vision, the the visualization was made up by 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 a memory, right? And memory is made up by time because of the experience you've had in real life. So, so the question, it, 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 I don't know. Whenever you make a visualization in your head, or like a memory, where exactly is the visualization being taken place in like a mental, an empty mental plane platform, it's like a platform of like a empty mental plane. And in this plane is the infinite possibility of whatever you can imagine or your imagination. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, Memories are made up of time, right? And whenever you visualize something, the visualization is created. It, it, it stems from your memory, which is which memory is created. It's made up of time because time is whenever you experience something in waking life. That's time, right? So why is time said to be the fourth dimension, and how does it how how does it uh? How does it connect to the fourth dimension? It's a secret. It's a secret image. So what I'm trying to say is that if time is the fourth dimension, right? Then can you access the fourth dimension through visualization or memories, right? Because visualization and memories are created by time. And what exactly is a, is, is a visualization or a memory? It's simply created by time because that's the visualization directly stems from the memories and experiences you've had in real life. And what are you experiencing is made up by time, right? Time spent experiencing whatever you did in your reality that caused the visualization. So... The question is memory, are memories and visualization in your imagination? Is your, is your imagination a gateway to another dimension, pretty much, is the question that I've had. Alright, I'm just joking. I'm making a joke, actually. I, I was just, like, making a joke about how, uh... How it. When people say that lucid dreaming and astral projections are the fourth dimension in spirituality, like a, like a lot of the time in spiritual community, people label astral projection as being the fourth dimension. I have to cut this recording off because, like, YouTube doesn't allow 15 minute videos. And which, if this goes over 15 minutes, then, like, I can't end up uploading it or whatever because, like, you're just going to need to restart the recording. Hello.